Okay, now we're at the third part of our data wrangling session. Uh, this is Ryan Womack, data librarian, Rutgers University. And this ses session, this video won't be as long. We're kind of wrapping up with the extras that are useful to know about data manipulation. So we saw dplyr in and out in the previous video. Now I just want to mention some other things because, you know, you're going to end up with all kinds of data needs in regular life. Um, and there are packages to deal with them. So I just want you to know about those packages. Um, when you want to wrangle your data in different ways, uh, we have Lubridate. If you're working with dates and dates and times, you know, these can be really hard to handle, right? You can have um, dates with named months. You can have dates in the ISO standard format, which is the best, uh, something like 2020, 10, 05 would be one example. Um, but that could also be expressed as 05, 10, 20, could be expressed as 10, 5, 20, um, depending on where you live. Um, those things are all quite messy, but Lubridate can convert your data to a standard uh, sort of behind the scenes format so you can compute based on dates, easily convert dates, check the distances between dates, does everything you need in, in that sense. Uh, HMS for hours, minutes, and seconds does the same thing for you know intraday timings. The blob package uh, lets you work with binary data, data that's not um, natively readable without an application, um, just stored in binary format. Um, Stringer, which is part of the, you know, the base eight things that Tidyverse loads, but we haven't really talked about it. Um, it's a whole set of functions designed to work with strings, right? So when you want to um, slice and dice your your strings, your character variables, uh, Stringer does a really nice job with that, right? So we can just look at the cheat sheet very quickly to give you an idea what I'm talking about. Right, we can subset, we can match patterns, we can join together things, uh, split them, glue them together, sort them. Um, so doing all that while keeping you in the tidyverse environment is really quite nice. Uh, and there's also four cats. And I have to show you four cats because of the has one of the finest icons, icon tiles that um, is in the tidyverse. A nice little cat icon. It's a little hard to see here. Um, Can see it a bit better on the cheat sheet but essentially it's for categorical variables um, so if you need to work with you know levels and labels uh, for your levels my cheat sheet doesn't really want to load here so I'm not gonna get too hung up on it but um, nice little icon for for cats um, so anyone working with categorical variables may be interested. We also have per, continuing the cat metaphors. Uh, per is um, a functional programming um, toolkit that allows you to work with um, functions and values. Uh, and we have actually, sorry, functions and vectors We've actually seen the map command that we used sort of along the way is part of per. So I wanted to mention those because those are also part of the tidyverse, uh, part of the core tidyverse, and 
we um, sometimes, you know, it, it again depends on your data needs. I think my internet has cut out briefly, so that's why I'm not getting to these these sites. Um, but you should be able to to find them. Oh, actually, sorry, that's per with with three R's. So per R, that's the reason that I was not finding it. So this one also has a cat uh, icon, but not black cats, so not quite as ideal. Uh, but and now my PDF is working. So you can see the the potential is endless. Um, we can work with lists. We can summarize. We can append, prepend, modify. Um, the type of things that are um, may remind you a little bit more of um, Python programming elements. Uh, per can can take care of for you. So here's an example of map uh, for the empty cars data. We're going to use split. Now the split command is from base R, just so you're aware. Uh, and then we are going to use the map function to run regression on the grouped data. And then we're going to summarize it. And we're going to look just for the R squared. Um, so by passing these things one to another in the pipe, we have a way of executing a certain an analysis step and extracting only the one bit of information that we need, right? So here I've just got the R squared of the regression for each of these three groups. And the actual regression step has been sort of masked uh, it only is showing us the end result. Um, so that's due to you know the, the way that map works and um, the the things that are built into per. Um, if if uh, you need more, right? So there are two other packages. One I'm not going to illustrate. It's fairly straightforward. It's Glue and Glue simply lets you combine data and strings, right? So if I wanted to create a list of names for some objects, let's say I was going to run regressions and I say group one, regression one, group two, re regression two, but I wanted to name those in a sort of meaningful way, Glue could allow me to, you know, loop through and glue together uh, many different meaningful names. The second, which I will illustrate, is the broom package. Now the broom package is, um, at first it's a little strange because it, it actually is not like a, to me it's not like a typical R package that you, you don't actually have control over what it's doing. You're not doing analysis, you are not um, setting up your data but broom what broom does is give you summary information about your your work and it's just really neat and quick and powerful um, and I think the metaphor there is you know it cleans up the presentation of your data so I'm going to load the broom library I'm going to run a regression and store it as something called reg output Right, so this is just so we have something to look at. And there are only three main functions in Broom. One is called tidy, the other is called glance, and the third is called augment. So tidy provides a quick and clean presentation of your main data elements. Okay, so we ran a regression and the most important things there are the coefficient on the regression and things we can use to judge its significance, right? So here we have the coefficient of the estimate, the standard error, the value of the, um, the, 
the t statistic value and then it's it's p value based on that t statistic which is you know these two are directly related to each other um, but we, we can see that these are highly significant, you know, based on the p-values. We can see the range of the estimate based on the standard error. We can see the estimate itself. Um, this is the uncorrected GDP, right? This is why I was dividing by 10,000 um, earlier because, you know, the, we have a very large multiple on the GDP um, Ver, you know, on the fertility rate to kind of scale it to the level of GDP. All right, that's tidy. Glance is sort of like the second step, right? If, if we're satisfied with what tidy presents and we want a little bit more, glance gives us the next most common things. Now, some of this is repeated, the statistic and the p-value, um, but this is actually for the regression as a whole. Um, we have the r-squared, the log likelihood and the other things we would use to sort of evaluate the fit of the regression. Um, but you'll notice it's all going you know, compared to the um, default R summary of regression output, which is not not that this is not useful, but this is big and if per, perhaps a little messy if we really want something that we can quickly put on a line. Um, broom has its advantages. Then the third option in, aug in broom is augment. And augment really gives you more detail, right? So that's the most detailed one. This gives you for every observation um, all the things related to the regression. So we have actually the fitted value, the residual, um, and the uh, measures of determining whether those are outliers uh, for each element. So that's a very detailed presentation, more than is easy to get from base R. Um, so we, we range from very neat and clean to very detailed. Now, because it's tidyverse, this will respect the groups. Now, I'm not going to go into this code because we're I want to wrap up with this session. But here we're going to do the same regression but grouped by ratio and summarize the results um, so here's our tidy data and you see how having it all in one row makes it easy to create a table like this so we have uh, two rows for the low ratio group the ones whose ratio is false and two rows for the high ratio group and again, we could um, export this table and kind of clean it up if we wanted to um, present it in different ways. Um, we can also get that glanced view of the other statistics, and we can even get the full reporting on every, um, every observation but respecting the groups that we created. So the last thing I'll say about Broom is I've showed you that for regression, which may seem like it's, well, that's a familiar example. But Broom, you can use those same commands, tidy, glance, and augment, and use them for many, 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 actually let me go into reference, under reference, you can see that these apply against all kinds of R objects. So regression objects, um, polygon frame objects, clustering objects, ANOVA, um, all kinds of stuff. You know, so anything that you're working with in R there's a very good chance that the tidy function might work to summarize your output, right? So you just need to, again, learn those tidy glance and augment, and that can carry you through all kinds of analysis. So 
you know, you're learning one extra package with three commands and it's going to save you a lot of work in getting output from all over the place, all across the R environment. And that's, that's again, the power of Tidyverse is that it, it, it's surprisingly wide ranging. Uh, once you learn some of it, it doesn't sit isolated from the rest of the R world. It interacts and enhances all of that. So uh, this is actually the end of the really Tidyverse focused um, sessions. We're going to come back with more on Shiny, uh, which is a specialized part of our studio's work. Um, it's part of the Tidyverse, but not quite in the same way. Um, this session has been the core Tidyverse. Um, I will recommend that if you know if you if you want to go further, uh, get a deeper understanding, or just practice these skills, uh, there are a number of places to do that, but one of the fundamental starting points is R for Data Science um, that's co-authored by Hadley Wickham. And this is a, a complete walkthrough of working with your data, taking a data science approach to working with your data, using Tidyverse packages. So it's all um, focused on Tidyverse as well. Uh, and it's free online, so really great thing to use. All right, I'm going to wrap up there. Thank you for listening through this. Um, the video versions are a little more in-depth than the in-class versions. Um, so I appreciate you staying with me, and I hope you'll come back for other sessions. Thanks for listening. <laughs>